hello welcome back to my channel it's your girl lumsy today's sewing tutorial is how to make alter neck circle dress with this sewing gathers. tutorial is a very easy one for beginners so anybody can make this if that's what you're looking for consider watching till the end to see how i made this and i'm going to be sharing some sewing tips and tricks that will make you sew this very neat to make this i'll use three yards of african fabric and some scraps that i have black fabric i'll be needing rulers i'll be using this interfacing it's called paper gum stain nigeria i don't know what you guys call it and then my tailoring supplies then for my main bodies i'll be using two yards and the gathers i'll be using this one yard so let me keep the one yards aside and fold this into triangular form so i'm going to fold it in two first of all it's in two like this so now the next thing I will do is to fold it in a triangular form. So this is it into two like this. Next is to fold it on a bias strip like that. Yeah. So this is where we are going to be working from. This dress is very, very simple. We just need three measurements. The neck, the armhole and the length of the dress. That's all. So I'll be working on the neckline now. To get the neckline, we will divide the neckline by 6.28 and we are going to multiply that by 2. The circumference of my neckline is 16 inches. So I'm going to divide 16 inches by 6.28 and times that by 2. So what I got is 5 inches after everything. So I'm going to be adding half inch sewing allowance to that. And that's what I'm going to be marking here. That will be my radius. So all the way around like that I will mark 5.5. From this neckline, I'm going to mark my armhole length. My armhole length is 10 inches, and that's what I'm going to mark here. And then I will square this out. And on that line, I'm going to get my round bust measurement. So round my bust measurement is 46 inches. I divide that by 4, I'll get 11.5. So I'm going to be adding sewing allowance to this. You can either I add one inch sewing allowance or you can add half inch sewing allowance to that. So if I add half inch sewing allowance to mine, I'm going to get 12 inches. So now I'm going to take this line down to get my side seam. And next, I'm going to connect this neckline to the armhole to get the halter neck line. So with my curve ruler like this, I'll place it inwards like this. Remember to add sewing allowance to that. So I'm going to add that and curve this like so so as you can see we have a perfect alter neckline next i'm going to mark the length of the dress so the length of the dress minus the gathered area so the length of the dress i'm working with is 39 inches i minus 9 inches from that i'm going to be getting 30 inches so 30 inches is what i'm going to be marking here and then i will go up get whatever measurement this is and i'm going to take it all around so from here to here whatever you have take it all around and that's what I'm going to do now. After marking this, I'll go ahead and cut this out. Now I'll separate this and so I can be able to cut out the neckline for the back. You know the neckline is very small so it's it, your head can easily pass through it so we're going to make a cut at the back here it depends on how you want it you can either curve it like this or you're going to just cut it open straight so whatever you want but i'm going to cut my own in a circular form like this so this is how it looks after cutting it i'll use my bias to tape that so next let's go to the neckline with the interfacing, this interfacing, I will fold it in two and I'm going to fold it again. I'm actually folding it into four because I want it, I want to have it double, I want to double my color. So if you want yours not to be doubled, you can just fold it into two. I'll go ahead and square out a line and that line is the line I'm working from. So let me square this out and cut it off. Now we have a straight line we can start cutting. So from here to here is the circumference of the neckline divided by 2. And my neckline is 16 inches divided by 2 is 8 inches. And that's what I have here. Then the length of the or the width of the or the breadth of the collar is 1.5. And that's what I have marked here. 
which one is it is it depth or width or what <laughs> okay so i'm connecting it now the next thing i'm going to be taking half inch away from the lower part and i'm going to curve this just watch what how i'm going to curve this into this place And then on the outer line, I'm going to curve it a bit to give it, give it a nice silhouette. So I'm going to cut this out. So I'll go ahead and add this to my fabric. Remember, I told you I want to double it. So this is what I mean by doubling it. It is two. So I'll go ahead and add it to my fabric and show you. This is it after I was done. So I'm going to go to my machine and sew it all around like that, leaving a space here. So I have cut this one into 9 inches, cut strips into 9 inches for my gathers. And I have these black strips that I'm going to be using for the bias on the neck and the design on the neckline. 